Good morning. We have some exciting news. We are headed back to Ron Hainab today. to Roan High Knob Shelter, which is the highest shelter in the AT, and it's about how high? I think you said it was around 6,200 feet? Yeah. yeah we're around, guessing right now. Yeah, a little over 6,200 feet. So it's cold right now. It's going to be colder up there, but we're going to try to push through. But the sun's out. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. As you can see by the picture, we have a lot of climbing to do. And that picture doesn't even do it justice. No, it sure doesn't. That has shrunk down quite a bit, but we have a lot of climbing to do today. We are somewhere in the neighborhood of about 3,000 feet, so we have to do over 3,000 foot climb today. And it's over the course of about, I think, 12 miles. So yeah, big day. I don't know if you can hear the sound or not, but I'm gonna let this record for a minute. See if we can catch the sound of this woodpecker. Awesome. <laughs> There's some fellas that we just met. These are um, ham operators. And we, we don't always put everybody on camera because they don't always feel comfortable doing so. Um, but these guys are ham operators. And uh, they've come to Roan Mountain uh, State Park, a group of about, I guess, 30 or so of them. And they, they are on here on the AT. They're climbing up this mountain and to set up a, a radio antenna so they can talk to people uh, in Europe and so forth. And what a cool hobby for, for those guys. So the two gentlemen, uh, as we were uh, walking along that were going to do the ham radio, uh, they have invited us to uh, come down. They're staying at the Roan Mountain State Park. And uh, they've invited us to come down for chili and cornbread. And, and uh, man, we would really like to try to do that we're gonna to try to make it up to Roan High Knob and we may not end up staying there if we can get a ride down to the state park, which is maybe about eight miles and then the guys said they would take us back up. So we're gonna to attempt to find a way to get down from uh, Carver's Gap to uh, the uh, state park and uh, maybe have some chili tonight in the shower. <laughs> okay, may not completely be able to see this, but I think where we're going is right about here somewhere. Somewhere in this ballpark, it's Roan High Knob Shelter. We are gonna to try to get up there, walk down to uh, Carver's Gap, and see if we can hitch a ride to the state park so we can have chili and cornbread tonight. Oh, that sounds amazing. All right, we've made it to a gap. I see a bunch of people standing around a vehicle, which looks like it could be Trail Magic. <laughs> uh, we're not beer people, but uh, what else you got? That'd be great. Thank you. Well, thank you for whoever left this Trail Magic. That is awesome. We are getting closer. I believe what's 
ahead of us, either the one next to it here or the one here. I think it may be here, but that is what we believe to be where Roan High Knob Shelter. We are climbing and climbing and climbing. Thank goodness for switchbacks though. That makes climbing a lot better. One of the ways that we have uh, found to try to plan our day as far as the difficulty of the hike is of course using the gut hook app and it, what I want to talk about today is switchbacks and so you can look at the elevation gain on gut hook which I'll show you a picture and then you can look at the map view of gut hook show you another picture and you can see that on the map it shows a lot of jagged lines which indicates switchbacks so you can kind of get an idea of whether the mountain that you have to climb that's 3,000 feet has switchbacks or whether it's a straight climb just by looking at the map view on gut hooks so for those that are hiking in the future use that gut hooks app it really helps in so many ways had to climb over it was well over 2,000 feet this morning so we can get to Brown High Knob and now we get to go all the way down to Ash Gap just so we can feel how high it is going up to Brown High Knob. <laughs> They'd like to torture us a bit. What's the nickname for that? Pods. Yeah pointless ups and downs. This one we had some views. <laughs> yeah we did. So not too bad. Not so bad this time. And up we go. Either if we get a lot of rain or if um, the frost melts and stuff, we end up walking and slipping. It feels like you're walking in brownie batter all day. <laughs> sure does. I don't know if you all knew this or not, but in the intro video of each of our uh, videos that we upload for the AT trip, there's a small section that I filmed while we were in Roan Mountain during a different time of year, but it was of the yellow flowers overlooking the mountains. And again, it's at the very beginning of the video. That just gives you a small taste of how beautiful the Roan Mountain area is. I'm not 100% sure if the camera does this justice with all the colors and so forth. But this whole section, this whole area, absolutely feels just like an enchanted forest. A combination of the trees, the rocks, the pines or evergreens. I don't know, I just think it's gorgeous. And folks, timing is everything. If you can try to schedule getting off the mountain when it gets cold like this, you can see it got really cold up here. There is just ice formed everywhere. And so although it's warming up today and everything is starting to fall, it sure was not that way last night. So we were sure glad to have a warm place last night to rest our heads. 
so glad that we've been able to make it this far on our trip, on our AT through hike. Man, what a great feeling. Yeah, that one big mushroom was sitting right there. <laughs> yeah, but we are in a different season and things look quite a bit different than we were here before. And it wasn't as hard as last time. No, it definitely. Hard, <clears throat> but not nearly as hard as it was last time. Not at all. But the forest is still awesome. I mean, the colors and, you know, it's so true being in the enchanted forest through here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh oh, lots of ice. I mean, that is just a waterway of ice. Maybe you can go up and around. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that may be a bit safer. Unsafe as that is. <laughs> there you go. The chimney again. It's missing its house, but there it is. It used to belong to a house. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like somebody's tried to make a fire in there recently, so Trying that is pretty cool to have this chimney sitting here. Obviously the location of a home at some point in history, so wow. Awesome. Very interesting. right down the center of the trail. All right, we're heading up to Rowan High Knob Shelter, the highest shelter on the AT. We need to sign the book here for us being here at Roan High Knob Shelter. Okay, and just so you know, this is what happens as all that ice thaws, the trail becomes the river. <laughs> hey, we're doing good today. As you can see, a lot of this trail is rock. And uh, it's not real easy to walk on, you know, just a bunch of rocks like this. Uh, really puts your, your legs at risk for injury, especially your ankles. So you don't want to do this quickly. Definitely want to be cautious coming down this trail. Look at this. We have made it to Carver's Gap. Oh, okay, here's the hill. Yeah, I remember the little hill now. Check this out. Carver's Gap, we've made it back. Awesome. And there's the sign. The famous sign, which is also in our intro video. And another marker to North Carolina. Look at this. Let me park that deep park. <laughs> that's funny. And that's the way we're going right over there uh, tomorrow. Right there. Yeah, right there. Hey, there's a lot, there's a lot of people here. Maybe one of them will us a ride. Yeah, that'd be awesome if we could get maybe a ride from somebody down to the state park. That'd be cool. Car Carver's Gap right Yay. there. Awesome. You guys, you would not believe where we're at right now. <laughs> we have made it. Trish put her thumb out and, and uh, somebody <laughs> came and picked us up and brought us down to Roan Mountain State Park. Oh, is, that, nice. is that awesome or what? So now we're gonna go hunt for, for Campsite 40 and uh, hopefully get hooked up with the guys that are offering us a beautiful meal tonight. And, and a ride back tomorrow. And ride back up to Carver's Gap tomorrow. So this is just amazing. 
crazy. People are amazing. Yes, thank you so much. Oh. So exciting to be at a campground. I know. <laughs> and we love this place, so. Yeah. Here we are at site 40. Waiting. <laughs> Waiting for the guys. And uh, look at this, we're right by the water. Absolutely gorgeous. We got a fire pit. We got water. And I think there's even a power plug in somewhere. <laughs> We come out and stir up the air <laughs> and put, put RF energy into the air. Awesome. We, uh, we're we geeks. We like to get on the radio. <laughs> and we, uh, we talk to people all over the states and all over the world at times on the radio. And we do it with small radios. We, uh, we're called Soda Summits on the Air. And we go up, climb up to the top of all the mountains that we can, and we operate from there and contact other hams all over the United States, Canada, Europe, um, South America, Puerto Rico, and uh, we exchange information with each other. And we, the fellows who go up on the mountains and the women that go up on the mountains are called activators. The ones who sit at home and try to contact us are called chasers. All right. And we try to earn as many points as we can to get an award. Oh. You get a little tiny piece of glass that says soda, and you either become a mountain goat if you're an activator, or you become a slop, S-L-O-T-H, if you're a chaser. Yeah, we are so thankful. You guys are here. These guys gave us the opportunity to come and eat with them, and we got some kind of beautiful chili cooking over here. Only, if only you could smell what we're smelling right now. Yeah, smell a bit. Ah, smells. Oh.